Oh, hey there, Professor Kinky Winky here. Now, you may be wondering, how do I learn to speak French? Allow me to guess a few reasons why you may have clicked on this video. The very few of you may have wanted to learn French to further your intellect and to expand your cultural horizons. A larger portion of you may be going to France or a French-speaking territory in the nearby future. And for the majority of you, you want to impress that special someone, or not at all, to convince them into your cozy, comfortable mattress. You may ask yourself, how does a scrawny American white boy, like me, know how to speak French? It's none of your business. Just kidding. I went to a French school here in LA. But enough about me. Let's get to the basics. Now, I've been to France a few times, and don't take this the wrong way, but French people tend to stick to their own language. They may have a basic understanding of English, but it tends to be pretty difficult to communicate unless you speak French. So, here are a few key phrases. A couple of the most important phrases I feel is, Do you have a bathroom? And where is the bathroom? Est-ce que vous avez des toilettes? That was the first phrase I said. Est-ce que vous avez... Des toilettes. Est-ce que vous avez des toilettes? Est-ce que vous avez des toilettes? Est-ce que vous avez des toilettes? Now the second phrase I said, where is the bathroom? Où sont les toilettes? 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 The next couple phrases are What's up, dude? And how's it going, man? What's up, dude, in French is Salut, mec. Salut, mec. Salut, mec. Salut, mec. Salut, mec. How's it going, man, in French is Ça va, mec? Ça va, mec? Ça va, mec? Ça va, mec? Hey, ça va, mec? Ouais. Next couple phrases. How much does this cost? And where can I find that? How much does this cost? In French is Ça coûte combien? Ça coûte combien? Ça coûte combien? Ça coûte combien ça? Ça coûte combien? Where can I find that in French is Où est-ce que je peux trouver ça? Où est-ce que je peux trouver ça? So it's Où est-ce que je peux trouver ça? This next phrase is pretty universal because you can just replace the one word in the middle with uh, practically anything and it works. So, uh, just a couple few phrases I had in mind is a beer, wine, drink, please, or like, uh, like an object, a baguette, please, or a croissant, please. So how you pronounce those sentences is une ou the article Une, un, depends on the word, feminine, masculine, French is weird. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. Un boisson, s'il vous plaît. So, une bière, s'il vous plaît, is a beer, please. Une boisson, s'il vous plaît, is a drink, please. So, une bière, s'il vous plaît. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. Un boisson, s'il vous plaît. Un boisson, s'il vous plaît. Un boisson, s'il vous plaît. Now, you probably already know this, but un baguette, s'il vous plaît, un baguette is a, a baguette, it's pretty, yeah. Un croissant, s'il vous plaît, is a croissant, the crescent shaped thing, you know, pastries. But French pronunciation is un baguette, un baguette, it's almost like um, another word. Un baguette, s'il vous plaît, un baguette, s'il vous plaît. Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. So you can kind of add any any word you want in between un, une, and s'il vous plaît. And for my last phrase, I'd like to help you guys with your dating lives with a uh, very well-versed, well-intelligent pickup line. So, hey sexy lady, 
Are you free Friday night? Now in French, you would pronounce that Hey, Madame Sexy, est-ce que vous êtes pris vendredi soir? So, it's a lot of words, but Hey, Madame Sexy, Hey, Madame Sexy, est-ce que vous êtes pris vendredi soir? Hey, Madame Sexy, est-ce que vous êtes pris vendredi soir? So, Hey, Sexy Lady, are you free Friday night? Hey, Madame Sexy, est-ce que vous êtes pris vendredi soir? Lot of, make sure to. Et Madame Sexy, est-ce que vous êtes pris vendredi soir? So that's all I got for this week. Tune in next time for another French lesson with Professor Kinky Linky. Uh, stay frosty.